What's up guys, Dr. T here, and today we're back with a pretty cool video. So today, we are going to be doing something that I just thought would be a good idea since I play a lot of Roblox anime games, and we're going to be doing a tier list based on all the ones I play. We have like 10, 13 games that we're going to be going over, and uh, yeah, it should be a fun video. But um, remember, do take it with a grain of salt, just my opinion, because there's going to be some that I put over others that I know a lot of people might hate me for saying but it's okay guys because you know it's my opinion but let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys uh if you guys want to hate on me in the comments go for it if you guys uh want to agree with me go for it as well i want to hear your guys opinions because you know roblox anime community is a big gold uh family you know what i mean anyways first game aba i give aba an s tier i mean personally i never get bored of aba and the reason for that is just because I always play with my friends like almost every single night. And it's a lot of fun. And I mean, they always update at least once per month, which is good. They don't keep it dead. And they always do different balance changes and stuff like that. So even so even like a little like bug fix or like like a rebalancing of a character will, will make me want to come back and play. And they always, you know, sure, I do question some of the characters they add to the game. Like a cough, cough, car, cough, cough. But, um... You know, um, it's still a very fun game, and the developers are all very talented. So, um, definitely a game if you guys have never played APA, play it. I'm shocked you haven't in the Roblox anime community, but it's amazing. Anyways, next one is Anime Adventures. Now, this is a very new game, and I have a couple newer anime Roblox games on here. I'm gonna, I might get hated for this too, or not really hated, but uh, I'm go, I'm gonna be giving it like a B, and I'm gonna say lower B, and the only reason why is because. I don't know. I just feel like I like ASTD more. Not just because I'm being biased, because I love ASTD. It's my favorite, probably one of my favorite Roblox games of all time. I was like ABA and another game on this list. But I mean, I don't know. It's Anime Adventures. I feel like the balancing in that game is really bad. Like, there, there's some legendaries in that game, and mythicals are like worse than like rares and commons, or the worst rarity is in the game. Like, when I tell you that Sanji is like 10 times better than like Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black, it's kind of weird. So. But I do like, the reason it's not putting it C tier, or D, is that, which I was going to put in C tier, but they add a lot of characters that are cool. Like, there's a lot of JoJo characters in that game, and I have a lot of respect when there's a lot of JoJo, so, you know. So yeah, that's why Anime Adventures comes in D tier. Next is ASTD. I'm putting ASTD in S tier. I'm not putting it above ABA, though. I'm going to give ASTD a, a being, like, you know, I'm not going to be biased here, but I'm giving All-Star a low A tier, because... You know. Well, that was weird. I got a, an ad randomly in the middle of recording. Anyways. So, um, yeah. So, All-Star. I'm not trying to be biased here, but, I mean, All-Star would definitely be, like, top tier. Like, top of S. It's only low S, high A, I'd say. Only because... Actually, I'm going to put it in high A. The only reason why I'm saying this is because All-Star, it gets boring. I think a lot of people do agree. Multiple YouTubers have said it. But it's just because... I don't know, I feel like All-Star isn't the old All-Star. If we're talking OG ASTD, like when it first came out, it'd be S tier, top of S tier. But it's just that I definitely do think it's the best um, anime tower defense game, though. Still in Roblox, my opinion. I mean, it's the most well-known. But I feel like that All-Star, it just has some weaknesses, but they are coming back. I will say that. But I feel like it's really hard to get certain characters now, and that kind of ruins the fun of it a bit. And... I don't know, I feel like it's just a lot, there's like, there's a lot, it's kind of overwhelming at this point, but I don't know. But All-Star, of course, is still a great game, and they keep improving it here and there, and it's, it's getting back to the old ages, from what we've seen from the latest episodes, and they had Zamasu and stuff, that was pretty cool. And they're listening really things that are fans more, so I have a lot of respect for the developers, of course. Anyways, next up is A Universal Time. I'm gonna give AUT top of B tier-ish, like around here. Now, AUT um, used to be, like, it would be, like, if we're talking, like, the OG AUT before they revamped it, it'd probably be number one on us. Or, a, or, like, with ABA. But AUT, I feel like when they reworked it and changed everything, it kind of messed up a lot of stuff, and they got rid of a lot of key features from the original Universal Time that I loved. Because I used to be a big fan of Universal Time. I know you guys probably know, but I used to stream it all the time. But they did a lot of changes that I wasn't a big fan of when they reworked the whole game and, like, closed it down for, like, a year. I think a Universal Time is still kind of popular, but not as much as um, its competitor, which I'll be getting to very shortly, I think. Yes, but, um, why, um, you know, a Universal Time is still good, though, game. It's still a good game. It's just that, like, I love the soundtrack. I love the things that they add to the game. Like, I had a lot of respect when they had, um, 
Hyori Itai and Racing Some Night in the background of the game. <laughs> Besides that, though, I like that I like that they also added uh, you know Goku and Killua and stuff like that. Like Goku's already in the game, but he kind of reworked it and made it cool. But anyways, that's why Universal Time goes to here. Next, of course, the counterpart YBA. I say S tier. The only reason why is because I think YBA is probably the best JoJo game on Roblox. If you had to get, ask me, they have a steel ball run, which that's my favorite game mode play of YBA. And they have a lot of stuff, and they keep the game interesting. It's very high quality. The only weakness for YBA is, I would say it's more of a low S tier-ish, only because their updates are very slow. If they added more, like, I know it's, they're kind of limited because I, I know they don't want to spoil too much for, like, the mangas and stuff like that, I'm guessing, because they, maybe why they didn't, haven't added, like, Wonder View and stuff like that. It took that long to add Stone Free. But they also have, like, you know, they have Made Heaven, though, so I really can't say that. But, I mean, they have a... I feel like though, like sometimes when they add an update, like who's really gonna use Stone Free when you can use like uh, the World Over Heaven or something like that? I don't know. I feel like though that if they should maybe just you know update a little bit more and then it would be even better. But overall though, still a solid game, definitely a ten out of ten. I would would recommend playing if you love JoJo. Next up is Blocks Fruits. I'm putting Blocks Fruits in A tier. Blocks Fruits is a very fun game, and I know it's very casual, but Compared to the other um, Roblox uh, One Piece game that I'll get to later on, I honestly think it's way, way more beginner friendly and it's a lot less grindy, in my opinion. Because Blocks Fruits is more of like a game where, like, if you just have you and a bunch of friends, you'll want to spend your entire life playing uh, a Roblox One Piece game, like how One Piece is a thousand episodes long. Um, yeah, go play Blocks Fruits. Plus, I think they have more fruits too. I mean, sure, the other game I'll get to in a moment. Uh, they have um, higher quality fruits, in my opinion. I think everyone would agree. Blocks fruits, I don't know. It seems more nostalgic. I don't know if GP GPO, which I mean, you guys can already tell, is as old as Blocks fruits. I think Blocks fruits is older, but I don't know. I've just always enjoyed Blocks fruits a little more. That's just me, though. But, anyways, on to the next one GPO. People are going to hate me for this, but I'm putting GPO at the top of B tier. Right around here. Actually, between AUT and that. Because AUT used to be really good, and I still got to give it respects of the old times. Anyways. GPO is a solid game. Very high quality. The only problem is how grindy GPO is. GPO is probably the grindiest game on this whole list. Most likely. Yeah, I'd say so. YBA, I'd say, is very grindy as well. But GPO is definitely way more grindy. Like, if you want to get to, like, good areas and get good fruits and stuff like that, it's almost impossible. Unless you're a pro and you're like my friends that play it, like, 24-7 and never play any other game. But besides that, GPO is still a very solid game. Very fun. But you gotta get good first and then it'll start to if you're a noob and you're, you're probably not gonna like it as much you just gotta trust the process i say but uh that's why gpo comes in middle mid b tier next is a hero's destiny this game used to be a lot of fun i'm not really sure what happened to it but i do remember it being a ton of fun uh i'm gonna get put it like right here right between gpo and universal time i used to play hero's destiny a lot i played it a couple times on this channel and even had some turns but it's still a lot of fun. I mean, I think the reason why I haven't played in a while, I think it's because just, I don't know, I got boring over time. But me and my friends used to play it like crazy. And I remember because we all love One Punch Man. And it's just a lot of fun. Best One Punch Man game on Roblox in my opinion. I mean, there's not many One Punch Man games that are really good. But this game's solid. Not gonna lie. Next up is personally probably the anime game I've been playing most recently on Roblox. And that's Anime Dimensions, which I'm going to put right behind ABA in like high S tier. Anime Dimensions is a lot of fun, for real though. I mean, the raids is what keeps it most interesting for me. I love doing raids and getting the new limited time characters and then doing dimensions and stuff like that with them and playing with my friends. The only thing about Anime Dimensions though is that I feel like they should make it where they should make a new mode for like stuff you could do with friends because I feel like it gets kind of boring when you're just playing alone a lot because like me and my friends try to get in each other's raids sometimes just for fun. But it never works out, and you're usually separated from your friends with that. I know it's a little tiny thing, and that's like not a big deal, but I mean, I have to give some critiques. But Anime Dimensions, though, is an amazing game, and every single update they have, like a new raid or something like that, is really cool. And overall, they always have pretty good stuff, you know? And they also have, like, they also add manga units here and there, or uh, characters. Like, they added, um, what's it called? Demon Lord Rimuru, which is kind of cool. So, the only thing I would also say is add a JoJo character and would probably be higher than ABA. Simple as that. <laughs> add Funny Valor Poochie if you want. But, anyways, Dimensions is right there. All jokes aside. Next up is Anime Mania. I'm going to put Anime Mania in C tier. And that's kind of harsh. But Anime Mania, 
it used to be good, but then it just became kind of weird. I don't know. I feel like just compared to the other anime games, it's GUI and stuff like that, and its quality isn't as high, because it's practically just the bad version of Anime Dimensions. Don't kill me in the comments for saying that. I mean, I think most of you guys would agree, though, that Anime Dimensions is practically just a better version of Anime Mania. Very similar games, but characters, and it's different, though, because one's a banner, which is Anime Mania, and it's more um, RNG-based, and Anime Dimensions is completely different. But, yeah, it's so hard to get good units, so in Animania, like, if you want Dio over Heaven or Dope Gone or something really cool like that, Mythicals, Prime Whitebeard, it's, like, almost impossible, and it's gonna take you a really long time. And plus, their updates are very slow, too. I still have a reason why Animania is something to see tier. Next up is Omega Tower Defense. Omega Tower Defense, I'm also giving a C tier. I mean, it used to be fun a long time ago. I just feel like they don't have too many units in the game. If they were to like just do a big update where you had a ton of cool units that like maybe aren't in too many tower defense games as of now, it would probably be, be ranked higher. But I just feel like because of that, it's you know it's ranked a little low only because you know it, they don't have many units, and I feel like that most of the banner is always like each ago every single second. I don't know. I usually have a go in there. It's like always each ago. I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but. Yeah, I just feel like they don't have many. It's like usually only they only have like Ichigo Mob and like a couple other good characters from one, one um, right? What I remember. But overall though, it was a solid game. Good good quality though, 100 percent Next up, we got Troublesome Battlegrounds. I'm gonna give it a low A. Troublesome, I know they don't update it anymore, and it's kind of been abandoned. But in its prime, it was amazing. Troublesome Battlegrounds is a JoJo fighting game, and I'm a big fan of JoJo, as you guys know. So I enjoyed it a lot. They stopped updating it, which made me really disappointed. I wish that we got to see Johnny, Joe Star, Funny Valentine, Fuji, Toru, all of them, jo um, Joe Escape from Part 8, all of them in the game, but we never did. But it's a very high quality fighting game, and it's really cool. I mean, it's even so fun. I know, like, not many people play it anymore. It's like a hard player online because they don't update it and they banned the developers. It's still a fun game, though, regardless, even if you were to hop on now. It's kind of like ABA. It's just a game that never really gets old. It's just fun. Plus, I like Diavolo in that game, Troublesome, more than Diavolo in APA. I feel like he's higher quality than Troublesome. Just, that's just me. Anyways, um, now on to the final one. Anime World Tower Defense. I'm going to give Anime World Tower Defense a high B tier. It has a lot of potential. I know it's not out yet, but, well, it kind of came out and then it closed down. But from what I played, it was a really cool game. They're trying to make it more unique compared to other Anime Tower Defense games, which, which I have a lot of respect for with the whole, like, food thing and a lot of other things they're doing. Plus, they have, like, multiple banners, which is kind of cool and I find to be very unique. And I feel like that when they would bring it back out again, which I think it's going to be, if I had to guess, like, a couple weeks from what they said, it'll be really fun. And I think that when it does come out and they start updating it, you know, if they stay on that grind, the developers, it doesn't fail or anything like some other games did. Um, it'll, you know, probably even hit A tier, maybe even S. But overall, though, very solid game. And I highly recommend you guys check it out. Anyways, guys. That's it for today's video. Here is my list. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this in the comments. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, go like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next stream or video. Peace. Happy to everyone. Take care.